Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play Need for Speed Payback with Retro Phoenix 80. In this episode, we are going to um, finish up on the time trials and move on to Jesse's side of the mission. Of the mission. One of my contacts says there's some abandoned cars lying around Fortune Valley. Some kind of house deal gone wrong, maybe. Anyhow, if you find them, why don't you go around to the end? Anyway, in fact, we're going to finish up on these time trials that I started in the last episode, and then we're going to finish off with uh, Jess Jessica's part. That was fucking unexpected. I steered. I <laughs> didn't dodge quick enough. Uh, excuse me. and get into the rush. Chaos and mayhem reigned in Silver Rock as an unidentified driver smashed private surveillance equipment. The weapon of choice? The driver's own car drifting right through the wreckage of all that expensive electronics. Ooh. It's a sight to behold, but hey, don't just take my word for it. An anonymous user known as Underground Soldier has uploaded videos of the event and it's breaking the internet in half. <laughs> Unidentified driver? That still counts as online rep, right? That first video the curator is raving about. That was you, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. I'd recognize that clutch kick anywhere. Good job. Let's get this car fixed before... I gotta remember to keep my foot... or my finger, sorry... ever so slightly light on the trigger, unless I'm at full speed already. Otherwise, the rear end of this car likes to kick out. And somehow I missed my turn off. Taking a drift car off road. How fun. like we're in a uh, rally car. Uh, sorry, no. I know I could probably do it, but... No, we're not in a rally car. We're in a fucking SUV. Ah! And the disc is doing that glitchy thing again.
Um, okay. of airborne stuff here. <laughs> well, anyway. Thanks to everybody who watched my one-year anniversary video. That was actually pretty exciting to um, record for you, as well as letting you guys know what was going on in the world of Phoenix. Yes, I know it was also a sad day as well because of uh, the retirement of the Flying Phoenix. Um, I felt that was actually necessary, kind of as a step to, excuse me, move forward with uh, the channel because. Not because I didn't like it, but because mainly because I wanted to see some change. Uh, the channel is moving forward. Um, I'm moving forward. And I just felt that it was time to give the new intros a shot. Mainly because I wanted to differentiate between the retro games as well as... Hey Matt, got a question for you. Yeah. Back before the cone exec job, you said you wanted to fly your dad's Mustang to the States. What's that about? That's the car he told me to drive with. Cherry red Ford Mustang 65. He even had the silver rubbed air freshener dangling from the rear view mirror. Damn, what happened to him? He had to pawn it off to keep us fed after the factory closed. Damn. I hope you get it back one day, buddy. I will get it back. No ifs about it. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to differentiate between the older games and the newer games um, because of the fact that <clears throat> the Flying Phoenix was one of those experiments that I tried where I got the photos, I actually bought the uh, photos for it and I could never actually get all of it together there was actually supposed to have been a lot more to it like the particles and the meshing of whatnot so essentially what I bought were the photos of everything and then having to try to mesh it all together it never really worked so therefore you got the dull the intro with the uh, duller uh, flame and then you got the um, outro with the brighter flame signaling the end of the episode I just thought it was time to modernize and get some complete intros and outros including all the particles and my name and um, the retro feel for wonder if there's a useful part around here. I should check it out. 
for the modern games like you saw in the last need for speed episode i included the modern intro and outro with that which i actually have three different ones one with the later wave um, feel to it, the old 80s, late, er, kind of all of the 80s decade plus the early 90s uh, was when that was popular. I cannot drive this car today. And I didn't even get the damn target because of all that. Oh well. There's always next time. And in a different car. I really need to get a steering wheel for my Xbox. Or, I'm sorry, a steering wheel for my PC. So I can use it with my Xbox. That's what I thought. We're inside of a 2015 Mustang GT 5.0. It's not really an off road car. I don't know why they have it on an off road course. But I guess beggars can't be choosers, right? This has got the race set up anyway.
Yeah, we don't need a repeat of Carbon Canyon. God knows how many times I've actually drifted my ass off of that. Making a reference to Need for Speed Carbon. Whoa! I've still got plenty of time. If I could keep my ass on the fucking road. Alright. I have no idea what I just got for this. And I really don't know what the chips are for. Let's go down here to Jesse's thing. Okay. I forgot entirely what I was talking about. That's okay. I honestly have no idea. I think I'll um, save Jesse's next time because it appears that I can't fucking drive worth a damn. Not to mention the fact that it is almost midnight here whenever I'm recording this so I'm kind of dead tired a little bit. Schedule should be clearing up soon. So I'll be able to get more recorded in a better time of the day. Less chance of me actually being tired. So Hey Ty, quick favor? Sure. Next time you're headed to the airfield, can you stop at next gas and grab me a few gas burgers? Jeff, that stuff's junk. I know, I know. I wouldn't be surprised if there was oil in that damn sauce. Tastes like it too. Just this one time, okay? Promise. <laughs> okay, fine. 
I have no idea what car I need to drive. Um, and we'll go with M M3. Well, I don't like the car, but no. Let's go. Who the hell are you? I'm your ride. Name's Miller. Ramirez. Nice to meet you, Ramirez. Now that that's out of the way. <laughs> Think you can lose those cops for me? I got paid for a pickup and drop off. Cop chase wasn't part of the deal. I'm sure we can settle this. Just drive. Got him. Exactly. Where are these spike strips? Shit! I don't know what she sees in you. You're a thrill junkie. Don't know who she is. For real? I'm getting paid. That's all that matters here. All right. Copy. Well, I saw her a couple of roadblocks. Of course not. It's fun to wreck them. But only in the game. Ah. find out how many there are in this series so that way I know if I need to uh, end the episode or keep going.
Oh, thank God. Can you drive me to the safe house? Or is that also extra? I'll throw that one in for free. How long you been doing this? Since my 19th birthday. Hell of a birthday. Don't I know it. What do those cops want with you anyway? The house blew my cover. It sold me out. You were undercover inside the house? You really ought to talk to my boss. How'd a girl like you become a runner anyway? I took a police cruiser for a joyride the day I turned 19. Oh, is that all? Ended up with 20 cop cars on my tail. Hell of a way to wash out of the academy. You were police? Yeah, my rebellious phase. <laughs> no wonder you're nuts. Says the guy who double-crossed the house. That's totally different. Okay, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it an uh, end of the night here. Ramirez has a lot to say about you. Not all of it bad. So you're my mysterious benefactor. I have a chance for you to prove yourself. Interested? I figured Marcus Weir had a good reason for putting us in touch. We'll see. Sending you the info. All right, um, I'm gonna head back to the garage real quick. Well, why don't we go to the tuner tune-up shop, get some parts for this car. I found out that this is actually the best way to get parts, uh, better parts than what they're actually selling. So, since I've already upgraded the gearbox on this, I'm going to work on the rest of it. I think I can do better. There we go. Nice combo. And we've got the next tick. All right, everything's been upgraded. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to head back to the garage. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to call this episode, or call it the end of this episode. So. If you liked it, hit that like button. Love it, share it, subscribe if you wish. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Later.